Hey, we're looking at Danny and the Dinosaur today by Sid Hoff. He does the words and pictures. This is my favorite children's storybook author. I really just enjoy his story arcs and his simple sentences. And there's just a, usually just like a little taste of sadness in each one, but they always turn out really well. So this is his, probably his most well-known book, um, best-selling book. Uh, this is a cool little title up here at the top, New York Times Outstanding Book of the Year. Uh, I think this might be a first edition, but I'm not really sure. It's 1959, and it's part of this I Can Read series. Now, the thing that really, uh, <clears throat> you know, is, is special about this one is dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are great for kids. Um, but uh, just that Sid Hoff really makes the dinosaur pop in this book. I love this picture too. It's like, I'm just going out for a walk. No big deal. Um, but that's what I really like about it. This is a really like thin paper too. Thinner, thin, not like many books that I've looked at, but it's, it's got a longer page count. Uh, so the thing here is um, Sid Hoff likes to use, um, I, I this looks like some kind of a paint brush that he's using because the lines... Um, it's smaller not so thick um, as they end and then it looks like he's using like some kind of uh, colored pencil to color some things it, it it looks like that and then maybe Danny's shirt is painted at least on the cover it looks like it is but Danny's going to a museum here and um, it's really for most kids it's the dinosaurs that are really cool and the uh, the thing that is cool about this book is like one of those classic museums, you know, that has the dioramas in it and things like that. Museums just don't do that anymore. Um, but you can see the sheer size of the dinosaurs here and just Danny's imagination is going off and Sid Hoff's just exploiting that um, to bring this dinosaur to life. And you can see this really cool coloring here. It's got to be some kind of colored pencil. Uh, it's really pretty coloring. And again, really simple. And I love these sentences that he had that he has in here. They're so they're very small sentences, easy for kids to read, but um, they just almost have like a cadence to them. The policeman stared at them. He had never seen a dinosaur stop for a red light. So Danny's got the dinosaur out there, and they're just experiencing different things in the street. And I love this street. It looks like it looks like a 1950s city back alley. <clears throat> and now they're gonna go do some uh they're gonna go help some people out here so you can see the sheer size here also with the buildings that the dinosaurs climbing over and then he's gonna help them he's gonna help the people in the city get on the bus and those colored pencils are really going to work here i don't even know maybe they're crayons i don't even know it's really delightful and, and light in touch. Look at him in comparison to that baseball field. The old the old fashioned baseball. Now he's in water. It's almost like a giant monster movie. Um, it's great for kids. And then again the simple sentence is toot toot went the boats. Toot toot went Danny the dinosaur. <clears throat> I love this little sign that he puts off away from the picture. Three pictures on a page. And then the colors really pop because everyone wants to see Danny at the at the uh, zoo. And I love all these pictures about the uh, different animals at the zoo being all bummed out because no one's looking at them. Nobody stayed to see the monkeys. Everyone wanted to see the dinosaur. And then the policeman is like, get out of here. Nobody, nobody gets to see the regular animals. So they just go into a back alley and, and the dinosaur plays with some kids. Look at that size, the double spread page there. A splash page, if you will. And then they play some hide and seek. And um, it's like every other page he really lets this color go crazy. And um, this is a good message here. Brush your teeth every day. And then eventually it comes to the end of the day and everyone's got to go 
go home. And Danny's got to go. You know, look at that. Her eyes in line. That's great. Everyone's got to go back home and eat. And um, the dinosaur's got to go back to the to the um, museum. And that's the end of their adventures. And Danny's just like, oh, well. We don't have room for a pet that size any, anyway, but we had a good day. It's just kind of like, that's the last time Danny's going to hang out with a dinosaur. Or is it? There are more dinosaur books with Danny, so don't fear. Thanks.